Well, once again today, there was some lucky folks seeing some welcome rains and not so lucky folks as showers and thunderstorms developed along the sea breeze have now pushed to the north and weekend on our sky cam. Still a lot of leftover clouds, a lot of mid and high level clouds out there. So look at our roofing 911 sky cam network and temperatures have cooled a little bit, not much into the 80s across the area. Still another chance of rain tomorrow, but it'll be a less coverage than what we saw today and even more so on Friday into Saturday. Only a 10 to 20% coverage expected Friday, Saturday. Then it jumps back up a little bit again for Sunday as a disturbance works in from the north and then back down again for early next week and up again. So kind of a roller coaster on the rainfall coverages coming up the next several days. We have rebounded back to 91 in Beaumont, mid 80s in the lakes, mid 90s out over the west. Not much on radar left. A couple of showers redeveloped around Nederland. Those are just about gone. Now, a couple of showers still around Orange. Kind of got zoomed in radar here right around the little Cypress area. These are drifting on off to the north, and these will weaken here in the next 30 minutes or so. The big weather story is the blistering heat across much of Texas. 104 Wichita Falls, 103 in Childress, 102 Del Rio, even College Station. One of their hottest temperatures of the year today at 102. So where it wasn't raining today, that's where it was very hot, lower 100s. Thankfully, we had the moisture in place, but it'll be thinning out, unfortunately, starting tomorrow with those fewer showers in the forecast. In fact, we'll start seeing drier air work in from the east and the mid atmosphere coming up by tomorrow and certainly by Friday. The tropics, everything looking good. We're in great shape there. The Gulf, the Caribbean's pretty quiet. A little weak wave north of the islands and another one way out in the Atlantic. Very weak, so we're in good shape as far as the tropics goes. And that's great news there. Temperatures and future cast will be only slowly dropping throughout the evening hours into the upper 70s. From the uh, lower 90s we currently have. Notice a few showers beginning to develop right before daybreak along the coast. These will work inland throughout the day. So still some hit and miss showers and storms around tomorrow. If the coverage less than today, 20 to 30 percent for tomorrow with highs in the lower 90s and yes, quite humid across the area as well. Then we'll drop on down into the 80s and even 70s eventually overnight tomorrow night into a uh, Friday morning. In fact, 80s still by tomorrow evening. Now your marine forecast sees two to three feet. We'll have south winds up to 15 knots. Water temperature 86 in the Gulf of Mexico tonight. Any showers out there now winding down. Lows in the middle to upper 70s. Tomorrow back to the lower 90s for highs. Partly cloudy, hot, humid. A couple of showers and thunderstorms around the coverage around 20 to 30 percent tomorrow. And same thing for Friday, even a less coverage Friday and Saturday. So the heat will be building. We'll have high temperatures back to the mid 90s. That's a little bit above normal for Friday through Monday. Notice a little increase in rain there Sunday. A little disturbance may come in from the north, giving us some scattered storms on Sunday. Then again on Tuesday, another pretty good chance of rain and back to the lower 90s. So hopefully next week we start seeing more of a typical normal summer weather, at least a chance of a few storms each day.